Morning Wolves and welcome back to another video on my channel and today we're here with 50 things about me. I was when I was down at my mom's house I was watching some videos of this one girl that I start recently watching. I watched some of her old videos and she started with stories about her life and the first video that she actually ever did was 50 things about me and I'm like huh I should do that. So, I did that exact thing while I was done at mom's house. I thought of 50 things, which it was super hard. I didn't know how hard it was until I sat down and started writing down 50 things about myself. So, yeah, I got to 30, and I'm like, what else can I tell these people about myself? I don't know. So, I started just writing down a whole bunch of random things that I might have or might not have told you so some of the stuff that you guys might already know and some of the stuff you might not know and if you don't know any of this then you didn't watch any of my vlog videos that I've done over the past year-ish to two to three to four years I don't know yeah so I just got back from my mom's house I'm exhausted and sitting here making this video <laughs> I'm so tired, but I want to make videos. Move on and go into 50 things about myself. Number one, I've never broken a bone in my body. Never. I think I never broke even a toe. I never broken a toe. I never broken a finger. I never broken an arm or a leg. Nothing. I never broke anything. And I am proud of that, I guess, that I wasn't so reckless to the point where I broke anything. Number two, I was once able to say I never had surgery but now I have to say I've had one surgery out of my whole entire life and that was when I had to have a cyst on my ovary removed I did a story about that so go and watch that video I have all my videos categorized in playlist and that story is most likely in vlogs I mostly put videos where I'm sitting and talking in the vlog section number three i've sprained my wrist many times like more times than i feel like i should have and that is because i was in a wheelchair and when you're in a wheelchair you're using your wrists to move the wheels and i sprained both of my wrists not just one both wrists not at the same time one time i think i sprained both wrists at the same time but mostly it was like this wrist or this wrist that was sprained and I had to always wrap it or put it this like cast thingy on it. So I always constantly sprained my wrist because of me being in a wheelchair and having to kind of do this and I sprained my wrist. Number four, I am, I went over this. I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever did like a coming out video or anything like that because I don't really like, I'm not like one to put like myself in a category for what I am. But if you want to know, I am pansexual slash demisexual. I, uh, if I had to put myself in a category, that's what category I would put myself in, which is pansexual and demisexual. I have to have a strong relationship and have like a deep connection with a person to be in a relationship with that person and so far I haven't had any luck with finding a deep connection with anyone. Number five, I am Christian. I come from a Christian family, but the thing is I'm not religious so I don't practice it at all. Number six, going towards the whole, uh, I don't practice religious therefore I do not believe in God. Yes. I do not believe in God and if you don't like that then you can get off my channel because I will not be swayed to follow in a God that I do not believe in and you can sit there until you're blue in the face saying whatever about this God and I will not change my mind so you therefore you might as well just pack up your stuff and there's a door there's the door and yeah bye guys and if you do that's totally fine, but do not sit there and try to persuade me to believe in him or anything like that because I will not believe in him. I think I'm better off without believing in him because I feel like my life was actually a lot better when I didn't believe in him. Number seven, you will be shocked by this probably because I don't believe in God, so why would I believe in all these other things? But I would like to like to believe that mystical creatures do exist like mermaids unicorns all that i feel like they do exist even though i know that they technically don't but i kind of want them to exist and 
I feel like maybe they do exist somewhere and obviously we can't, we don't know where they are because they're in a world where we can't really get to, I feel like. Yeah, so I like tacos, pizza, and steak. Those are kind of my favorite foods. I like a whole bunch of so different foods, but tacos, pizza, and steak are definitely my favorite foods that I like to eat the most. <clears throat> Number nine, my favorite animals are wolves obviously because there's a wolf thing there a wolf thing there and that blanket is wolf i love wolves obviously and my channel is obviously called night wolves because i like wolves i like the night and i like wolves so wolves i like owls because they are very like intelligent creatures they actually are very smart so i like owls because they're very smart and i feel like if they did talk they would be very wise so i love owls and i love foxes uh i watch a whole bunch of fox videos where they're so cute running around like crazy and then they got that like <laughs> kind of kind of bark i don't know but I love foxes and owls and wolves, so there you go, those are my three favorite animals. Number 10, when in a relationship, I always did the breakup. I don't know, like, I always did the breakup. I don't remember any time when somebody broke up with me, except for one time. One time, a guy broke up with me because I was in a hitting phase, which I hate that phase so much. Why did I get into a phase like that? I don't know, we all go through phases in lives, and mine, uh, phase at one point was smacking people. For what reason? I don't know. So, I broke up with all my relationships except for one, obviously, because I got into a smacking phase. And I don't, I don't blame that guy for leaving me. I would have left me too. Number 11. I come from a big family of five. I was about to say five, but that's ten. I come from a family of five, and I am not close with any of my siblings. I do talk to them, I do talk to them, but I'm not close to any of them. Cats and dogs. I had this love-hate relationship with them for a very long time, but I've recently settled just on cats, obviously, because I have a cat. I don't mind dogs. So, the reason why I don't like dogs is, one, because... Since I am disabled, I am off balance constantly, so dogs jump. Some dogs don't, some are good, and they'll not jump, but then there's the ones that are just a jumping bean, and they will freaking knock me over, and I hate that, because I'm already off balance, and a dog fucking throwing me off makes it even, like, more, uh, like, ugh. So, yeah, I don't like dogs because they jump, and because they bark a lot, and because they shit and piss wherever they want, where a cat will shit and piss in a litter box and I had to scoop out the freaking thing, which I'm totally okay with. But for a dog to shit or piss on the rug or wherever it pleases just like drives me up the wall crazy. Like, I, I don't mind them. I will go in a room with a dog. I will pet him. I will talk, I'll talk baby talk to the dog whatever like i will be nice to the dog i'm not like a complete asshole to the dog like oh get out of my face you ugly creature nothing like that like i love dogs but like for me to have one i just can't don't get me wrong i hated cats at one point as well because i had a little demon as a cat that scratched the living shit out of me all the time bit me tacted me all that shit like that. So I also hated cats as well. I also hated the cats as well. And I'm like, they don't like humans. I don't like them. I don't get them. Blah. And this little angel came into my life. And I fell in love with cats. <laughs> I hate being an adult. Like every other adult. Every adult has it where they hate being an adult. I, of course, hate being an adult. I have nothing, I have no, I don't know what to do with my life. I don't know, like, like, I just can't function. I don't know what to do as an adult. I'd rather be a young, I'd rather be young. I'd rather go back to being a child than having to deal with this world or this life that I'm living in right now. I hate being an adult. I hate it with every fiber of my being and I wish that I can turn back time and go back to being a little innocent child where I didn't have to deal with anything or bills or like 
I hate it. I absolutely fucking hate it. I take things on from other people, like going back to the anime situation where I was was a youngin and I saw these girls smacking guys in a show and I'm like oh that's how you show someone a function so I took that on and started smacking people so yeah I take things from people I absorb them I watch them and I'm like ooh, I like this thing so I'm going to take it as my own and then make it not technically it's not my own because it came from somebody else so I'm like a sponge. I absorb things and then use it into my day-to-day -day life. I hated swearing with every fiber of my being as a child. Like when I was like a teenager, um, I used to hate swearing and now I cannot stop swearing. I, tr I, I, like, I know I haven't tried hard enough, but I have a hard time not swearing. Like every word that comes out of my mouth, I feel like it's a swear word. I said I said a bad word at one point and my sister's like, you shouldn't say that because like you suck at swearing. And just because she told me that I sucked at swearing, I'm like, well, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna keep doing it because you told me that I should stop doing it. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Strong smells. Oh my god, don't get me started on strong smells. Like, don't, I'm, Alyssa, I'm sorry, I love your car, but your car gives me such headaches, but I love going in your car, and, but, like, I, my mentor, she has, like, things hanging from, like, the wheeler mirror she has things in like the air conditioner she has like this thing in her cup holder and it's a whole bunch of smells all at once hitting me in the face and i just like oh my god and i it just gets my headache started so when i when i come back here when after driving around in her car for a bit i have to take headache medicine because she has so much smells going on in her car that my head's just like Oh my god, what's going on? So strong smells give me headaches. <laughs> I know I should have mentioned this to you, Alyssa. I'm sorry. And I know you love that like, your car ha is sm smells good because you're really sensitive to smell. But me, I'm also kind of sensitive to smells in strong sense. But I don't want you to change it. I, I don't want you to change it. I'm actually, I think I'm starting to get used to it because I haven't gotten a headache while getting in your car for a long period of time. Going back to the dog jumping and throwing me off balance situation. I am constantly, constantly off balance like my i'll be standing there and then my body will be like gravity check and i will almost fall over and people will just look at me like what the frick is wrong with her nothing's wrong with me it's just my body because i'm always off balance my body's just like gravity check make sure she's paying attention because if not she's gonna fall over when i am mad when i am furious I will ball my eyes out. I was born a cancer. When they get angry, they ball their eyes out. My mom actually does this and she's a Leo. But yeah, my mom, she'll get mad and she'll start to cry. And people are like, oh, look at she's doing it for attention. No, bitch, I am trying not to murder your ass, okay? I am not trying, I'm not crying for pity or whatever i am crying because i am so bad that i want to fucking strangle you and it i can't i can't because murder is illegal i hate fighting i hate fighting with every fiber of my being i will little literally run away if i could my favorite season my favorite season is spring i made seasons as sims and i told you that my favorite season is spring like i always love spring right now we're in spring and i'm just like yeah, spring the reason why i like spring so much is because everything comes to life everything blooms and everything becomes beautiful and the weather gets nice and i love crime shows i love everything crime 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 <laughs> i legitly love crime shows so much i 
am not addicted to it. Like, I don't watch it all the time, but I like crime shows a lot. I watch Criminal Minds. I actually finished it, kind of, not really, because I got to a point in the show where I did not like it and stopped watching it. But I watched the the Cecil Hotel. That's what it's called. I watched Cecil Hotel. I watched all the, like, I watch a whole bunch of crime shows. I love crime shows. I love horror movies and end of the world movies. So if you want to take me on a date, if you want to take me on a date, uh, we'll go watch a horror movie. I love horror. I love end of the world, like zombie apocalypse, anything like that. I love it. I love those kind of movies. I love supernatural stuff. Um, obviously this is going down the whole lot, pretty much like criminal, horror, end of the world, supernatural, like I love all that kind of stuff. I love it. Obviously going down, more down the line, conspiracy theories. I love conspiracy theories. And I believe in some of them. I'm not going to tell you which ones. Yes, I am disabled, but that doesn't mean that I was always disabled. I was once a cheerleader. <laughs> yes, up until I was 13 years old, I was uh, actually allowed to run around, be a child, do cheerleading, all that. My favorite number always changes when I age. I don't know why or when this started, but I think it was when I turned 19 or maybe it was 18. I don't know. I don't know what age it started, but when I change age, my number, my favorite number changes with my age. So it wasn't always the same favorite number, but I think for like the longest time, my favorite number was eight or six. I feel that my spirit animal could be either a cat or a wolf. I don't know. I relate to them so much. I, I can relate to my cat because he's a lazy piece of shit and I'm a lazy piece of shit. And I can relate to our wolf because they're very loyal and very family oriented. So I am very family oriented. I am very loyal. So I can relate to a wolf on many levels and they mate for life and I want a mate for life. I, as a cancer, love water so I love to swim. I'm always wanting to swim and I love the woods so water and woods are my favorite things to be out in either in the woods or in the water. Either one I'm okay with. I am a lucky person who has depression and anxiety. Yes, I have major anxiety and major depression. So I'm not like saying, oh, I have a depression and anxiety. And I haven't been um, treated, like not treated, but like told by a doctor that I have these things. I actually have these things and a therapist had actually told me I have these things. I've thought about my wedding ever since I was a little kid. Yes, I thought about my wedding day ever since I was a wee little girl. I thought about being a mother since I was 18 years old. Obviously, I'm not a mother. I thought about becoming a mother since I was 18. Like, I wanted a baby at 18. But, of course, I was like, no, I should wait until I am older to have a child. I should only be focusing on school. So, of course, I just focused on school. I thought I would be married and have kids by 20 or 21. And here I am, 27 years old, single and no children. I repeated a grade. I think it was one. And I have repeat, I repeated a grade due to I had a learning disability. I still have a learning disability. And it still affects me to my day, but it's not as bad as it was when I was younger. Speaking of uh, still doing a grade over with, I actually stayed in high school until I was 21. You are allowed to stay in high school until you're 21 because... I needed extra credits to go to college, which I did go to college. Speaking of staying back to go to college, I of course did. So I have three diplomas, one from college, one from my graduated high school, and the third one is because I wanted to be a culinary art person who opened her own business, her own restaurant, and so I went to cooking school and got a third diploma in cooking. Number 36. I am scared of intimacy. Um, I said intimacy because that's what it is, 
But if you didn't know what that is, and you know, it's where two people have woo, or we can call it woohoo, <laughs> because that's what we call it in The Sims. Maybe because you have to bear yourself to a person, and you're, it's very like, it's where you're just like, opening yourself up to someone to let them in to see you very vulnerable and that's very scary to me. My favorite colors are blue and green but mostly blue because I have blue, 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 like a lot of blue but I love blue and green. I feel like they mix very well together so I like blue and green. I was bullied as a kid. I am going to do a separate video about this so I'm not going to go too much into it but I was bullied as a kid. When I was younger I was bullied and when I was in middle school or high school I ended up getting bullied as well. Not all water tastes the same. A lot of people are like oh water is all water is the same. No it's not. All water is different. I've tasted plenty of water in my whole entire life and every single one is different. I've talked about this before. I am scared, terrified to get my driver's license or my permit. I know how people are on the road. They are completely crazy. Accidents happen. I'm afraid to get behind the wheel and drive myself. I was down at my mom's house for Easter and uh, I do her feet. Yes. I do my mom's feet. Every time I go to see my mom, she'll ask me to do her feet and I apply and I sit down and I do her feet. Going back to my favorite colors, my wardrobe, except for this one right here, all of my wardrobe has blue in it. I like to learn about goddesses and other gods. Yes, I don't believe in God, but yes, I like to learn about goddesses and other gods that exist in this world. I don't know, like, I don't know if I believe in goddess and gods, other gods, but I like to learn about them because I find them very interesting. I believe in reincarnation. Yes, you'd be like, wait, you don't believe in God, you don't believe in that, but yet you believe in reincarnation, so how do you expect it to, like, be reborn? I know. <laughs> I don't know, like, I, I don't, like, it's too complicated to get into, but I believe in reincarnation. I feel like once you die, you'll be reborn. My favorite class when I was in high school to middle school, I think it was middle to middle to middle school to high school, I started to really like history class. My favorite YouTuber. Yes, I uh, got inspired by a YouTuber to make this channel and that was Jack Septic Guy. He inspired me to start my channel and he's my favorite YouTuber obviously. I just realized that I skipped over one so it's not all 50. Um, I got to the end, I started re editing it and then I realized I skipped over one so here I am back. Uh, I have crushes on people that don't know I exist like YouTubers, TikTokers, um, anime guys, <laughs> obviously they don't exist, but I still want to be with them. But yeah, so I have crushes on people who don't know I exist. My first words as a baby, I wished it was mama, but actually it was dada. I wanted it to be mama because I am very close to my mom where I, where I'm now as an adult. I am not close to my father. My whole entire family lives in this city. Where, uh, where I live out in the country and my parents and my whole entire family are like come move to the city and I'm like I'm more comfortable in the country thanks I will stay where I'm at. Number 50 finally! Oh we are finally on number 50 so yeah I'll get into bed get all snuggle and I'll close my eyes and I'll make up a whole story on how me and this person gets together, how we're going to get married, have kids, and then when everything seems to be happy and go lucky, I completely destroy it and kill either myself or the guy that I am with off. Anyways, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found this interesting and hope that you guys learned a little bit more about myself. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video either way. If you guys did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up or ring that bell if you want to see more videos from me. Subscribe if you want to and I'll see all you beautiful night wolves in the next video. Goodbye.